right, all my viewers in the United States of America from Jolton in Tennessee. Let's open this sucker up and see what we've got. Oh yes, it's from Unmanaged615, who, uh, who is a huge contributor to the Amp Hour. If you don't know the Amp Hour, I've only been doing a radio show for like 13 years or something, um, theamphour.com with Chris Gamble, of course. Um, and uh, he updates, uh, adds stuff to the uh, Reddit, because there's a Reddit where you can put show suggestions for stuff for us to talk about on the podcast. So unmanaged, 615, thank you very much. And what do we got here? What do we, oh, it's a, is that a panel meter? It's a panel meter thing. Oh, it's Simpson. Simpson DC volt panel meter. Wow, okay, let's do a quick two minute tear down. Maybe we can power it up, maybe it still works. Wow, I didn't, I didn't know Simpson did panel meters. That's interesting. Model 2850, two volt range, comes in all different uh, types, current and uh, voltage uh, as well. 120 uh, volts AC, so yeah, I gotta power it up from the mains, hoping I can just uh, power it up from a, a PSU, but uh, yeah, card edge, jobby, so it slides into, you know, something, and I think I can see three and a half digit in there. Let's see if it still works. And we're talking 1976 vintage. Check that out. Fantastic. Aha, look at the discrete trannies down there. Look at them. Look at them. Little tripods. Woo, very nice. Beautiful. Oh, you don't see construction like that anymore. When I was a boy. So we've got mains in here, but check this out. Like I would have thought, oh yeah, here and here, hook up the mains. But that trace goes through there and it's connected onto the gate. It's like inside one of the laminates there. What? What? <laughs> so I assume that's an earth. And then of course one goes in here through a fuse over to here. But there's a couple of more mains wiring so it must be this one and the other one on the other side and that goes over to here and there's so this is the primary side this is the secondary side and they've got a tap off here like go into one pin there's like a shorted is that like a shorted turn or is that some sort of voltage so ah oh, that might be voltage selection perhaps let's have a look at the displays on this thing can we get a manufacturer and part number there that looks interesting. Wow. I don't think I've seen one of those before. It's got dual digit and one's at one's a half digit with the plus minus. But wow, that's neat. What is that display? I need a part number on that. Oh, look, we can take it out. Is that like a that's socketed? In fact, I don't know those numbers there, but are they seven segment decoders? No four layer boards back then. They just <laughs> Ribbon cable routed that bus all the way over. There you go. So that's obviously like the seven segment input. So this looks like it could be the decoder, perhaps. And then you've got uh, sync transistors for each uh, segment in there, plus the uh, decimal points. Ooh, here you go. It could be taken on Fran Lab here um, <laughs> for unusual displays. Um, there's a little nipple on it, which uh, seals the seals the glass. So it's some sort of vacuumy type fluorescent display. So this is a Beckman SP351. It's called a Panaplex display and it looks a gorgeous orange. I've seen a photo of it lit up. Ah, uh, yeah. FranLab, eat your heart out. I wonder if it still works. And that's a matching Beckman socket too. Wow. And uh, yeah, this one's a different part number because it is physically a different part. It's got two seven segment displays instead of the uh, one and a half digit on the other one. But oh, very nice. Okay, one weird ass Yankee plug and 263 primary. That sounds okie dokie. Uh, oh, let's do a smoke test. Okay, let's see if this powers up. Uh, here we go. Let's switch this on. Switch the mains on, fingers crossed. Oh yes, look at that. Oh, beautiful, look. Oh, that display is gorgeous, look at that orange. Oh, beautiful. I'll turn the lights off. Oh, look at that gorgeous glow. Wow, beautiful. There you go, a Beckman Panaflex display. Ha <laughs> ha, Fran Lab, eat your heart out.
Unless, of course, she's already beat me to it. So I'll change the exposure here. And, oh, look at that. Th thing of beauty is joy forever. Look at that. Wow. Oh. So thank you very much, Unmanaged. That is just gorgeous. A Simpson uh, panel meter with Beckman panoplex display oh, it's just, oh i hope that i mean my camera is color balanced so i'm hoping that orange will come out the camcorder screen doesn't look as orange as in real life but trust me that's beautiful Mwah. apparently these are called neon planar displays and i found a uk website which specializes in these displays so i'll link it in down below and they've like documented all these things and they have gorgeous photos and they've got completed clocks with these things it looks like they made them in all different shapes and sizes and uh these were made by at least uh three different companies these uh well, i don't know if panaplex was like a uh beckman trademark or whatever but um yeah it's it's interesting there is a whole bunch of info out there on these anyway these are gorgeous are they not what? Oh, wow, look at this. Thank you very much, Unmanaged, for sending this in. This is fantastic.